welcome to our review on diffusion so the first thing we actually need to know about here then is just the definition for diffusion so this used to come up on the old specification as one of those questions they could ask you so make sure that you learn that the diffusion is the net movement of particles from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration so the way we could also write that is by saying that those particles are moving down a concentration gradient now do go careful with the phrasing of that one don't use phrases like across or along and don't use the phrase diffusion gradient ever so if you're talking about it in terms of the gradient they move down a concentration gradient now one of the key things about diffusion is that it's what's known as a passive process now any passive process is one that doesn't require energy so there's no ATP needed for diffusion it just happens without any energy being put into it and what we find is that the process of diffusion will continue until the concentration gradient is zero so those particles will keep moving until eventually they're equally distributed making the concentrations the same on each side and therefore the concentration gradient is zero and the little picture on the right there just shows you what's happening so at the start you can see that we've got all those little red particles of the burnt toast right over by the toaster and then as time goes on you can see that they're dispersing through the actual air itself if we now think about where diffusion is taking place when we're thinking about diffusion in biology then this is the process by which our particles are going to enter and leave cells now it's good to know a few examples on what's actually happening so if we think about those normal body cells what we actually see is they need to take in glucose and oxygen so they will diffuse into the cell whereas carbon dioxide which is a waste product is going to diffuse out of the cell and therefore be removed now that we've got a basic understanding of what diffusion is and where it occurs we do need to know the three factors which can affect the rate at which it occurs so you need to remember that the distance the concentration gradient or the surface area could affect the rate at which diffusion takes place if we consider the distance first of all what we actually see is the pattern here is that the larger the distance those particles need to travel across then the slower the rate of diffusion now quite an obvious reason for this that if you've got a larger distance it just takes longer to get those particles across so if we think about what happens inside the body as an adaptation any of those areas where we need diffusion to be occurring we make those distances as short as possible so if you think about places like the capillaries for example where we have the exchanges between the blood and the cells then the wall of the capillary is only a single cell thick which means that distance is as short as possible making diffusion as fast as possible our second factor is the concentration gradient now the pattern we see with this one is that if we've got a steeper concentration gradient so that means that we've got a greater difference between our two areas so one's a really high concentration and the other a very low concentration then what we see is we have a faster rate of diffusion so the steeper the concentration gradient the faster the rate of diffusion our third and final factor that can affect the rate of diffusion is the surface area now what we find as our pattern here is that the greater the surface area the faster the rate of diffusion will be and the whole reason behind that is that if you've got a bigger surface area then we've actually got more space for diffusion to occur across so if we think about examples in the body of where we see this inside the lungs your lungs actually end in those little air sacs called the alveoli which are all really folded up now that means they've got a really big surface area and therefore diffusion can happen quicker in that area same thing if we think about the small intestines there are all these little tiny folds called villi there that do the same thing increasing the surface area to increase the rate of diffusion so make sure that you do know first of all the definition for diffusion you remember that it's a passive process which means it doesn't need energy and you know the three factors that affect it and how they actually affect it